All right, chat, let me go over what we're doing today. We'll give a little intro. So here, I am suffering today, and chat loves to watch me suffer. And what kind of suffering are we going through? Well, cleaning. And you know what? I'm sick of going through all this stuff, and we have to clean the whole kiosk, so this is my new cleaning method. I'm just gonna throw everything on the floor, make it go to the kiosk, and then we'll sort it from there. Get rid of this bar, no one likes the bar. Look at the items are vibrating. Look at, they all jiggle when I throw something on it. All right, chat, so we need to remember that there's one purple key card and two graphics cards on the ground. The key card's not here. Maybe it just doesn't show everything on the list. I'm kind of sad because I earned all of that and I don't know how much of it disappeared. They're here, they're here, they're here, they're here. Where's the key card purple? It worked, chat. I was gonna say, we, we have to take a risk here of losing the stuff, but this will be such a faster way to clean. Well, I'm just putting the whole bag on. I'm not taking them out. It's gonna take too long. Uh, hello? Is this thing on? Goodbye bag. No! No, it's gonna come back. It'll be fine. It's just thinking, chat. It's got a lot to think about, right? We've got three bags to give away. You know what? Let's take a break. Let's give away these bags. Chat, get your headsets on. Let's get rid of some of this stuff. What's up? What's up, fellow? Tanites? Come pick a bag. They're crazy. Alright, All right, you guys take care of each other and get 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 you guys out of raid. Don't die with that stuff. Go sell it, alright? This is hardcore. A self-imposed set of rules that prevents me from buying anything in the shop or taking handouts from other players. Everything I use are items found in raid. Death is more punishing, and survival is key. So, I don't really like- okay, you got, this might make a lot of you guys mad. I don't really like the Marvel and DC movies. I'm not real big into the superhero movies. Most of them, I think, are just so garbage, chat. I know, I'm gonna upset a lot of people. That's why I mistake Thor for Thanos. I've just- I've literally never seen, like, Endgame or any of that stuff. Um... Like, I've tried watching a few of them, like, one of my friends is super into it, Artelis, and, like, he's like, watch them in, like, chronological order or whatever. Uh, everything ties into the same universe. I was like, okay, that sounds cool. And, like, I'm watching them, and I get through, like, the first five movies, and they're just boring writing, in my opinion, man. It's just, like, so cliche, you can kind of predict everything that happens, there's nothing really, like... It's just, it's just mid-writing, is what can I say? And I'm kind of a snob about, like... Like, if I'm gonna watch a movie or a show, it better be, like, some of the best writing that's ever been seen by mankind. And I just wasn't getting that. Uh, from, from the shows. Maybe, I mean, I'm sure some of them are written better than others, like, they're not all bad, but, like... They're just mid, and I don't like watching mid movies. These movies take a lot of time. Uh, so that's my take. What up, Trash Can? I just don't like them. They're just like, they're just so cliche. Superhero saves the day at the end, like... I don't know. I guess like, s spoilers, even though I haven't even seen it myself. I mean, I guess some people die in Endgame, but... That's probably the best thing they've ever done. Like, kill off characters that they, that you love. I think that's good writing. Because nobody, like, hardly anybody expects it. Alright chat, let me go over what we're doing today. I'll give a little intro. So here, I am suffering today, and chat loves to watch me suffer. Uh, and what kind of suffering are we going through? Well, cleaning. And you know what? I'm sick of going through all this stuff, and we have to clean the whole kiosk, so this is my new cleaning method. I'm just gonna throw everything on the floor, make it go to the kiosk, and then we'll sort it from there. Bet? Hopefully that's a little bit faster. Where can I put this gun? Dude, we don't even have room on the gun wall. Chad, I don't have room! Get rid of this bar! No one likes the bar! We've got too many AKs. Hey, 
Wasn't there an update that deleted all one-shot sticks and boxes? Yeah, there was. So that's that's a few less items that I have to sort. That's good. Can this fit, please? Right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it can. Okay. I'll put that there. So, yeah, I'm just gonna throw everything on the ground, chat. We're gonna clean and organize this entire hideout. Um, and we'll see how big of a pile we can make on the floor. Wait, there's one shot there. I thought they deleted them all. Someone please dono this tip and you can just stick the handle of gas can at very bottom of backpack and it stays. Cool. Um... What do you think about Sandlot, the movie? That's an older movie. I definitely was younger when I watched it. Um, I don't know. I can't remember much about it. Isn't that the baseball movie? Is that the movie with the dog who likes to sick balls? No, that's Stand By Me. There is a dog in the Sandlot though, isn't there? I don't know. I can't really remember. Sandlot is goaded. It's like the kids who play uh, baseball. Thoughts on the Home Alone series? Oh, dude, Home Alone is sick. Chat. A lot of you younger folks have not seen Home Alone. You guys would think it's so funny. You guys should go watch Home Alone if you haven't seen it. All of them are really good. I think they're what so about funny. Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul? What your opinion on those? Okay, I do really like Breaking Bad. The original Breaking Bad was good. Um, I've seen it once all the way through, and I enjoyed it. Um, I have. I saw. Did I see a little bit? I might have seen a little bit of uh, Better Call Saul, but I didn't end up actually like watching it. I don't know why. I think it's because I just wanted more Breaking Bad and it wasn't that, even though it's in like the same universe. But I ended up not watching much of it. I can fit this here. Is it good, chat? I lived in New Mexico. I know every street in that show XD. Do you? That's kind of cool to know. Uh, chat, let's talk about lucid dreaming. So, Lucid Dreaming, as a kid, I was obsessed with it. When I was, like, in high school and middle school, I, like, did a bunch of research on the internet on how to, like, induce Lucid Dreaming and, like, a bunch of techniques to practice. And I used to do it a lot. Um, I haven't done it much in my recent years, but, man. Lucid Dreaming is where, like, you're aware that you're dreaming that's a big pile, chat. I want to keep making this pile bigger. You think we're going to break the game, though? Imagine it just deletes all this stuff. I'm kind of worried it's not going to, like, transfer all of this to the kiosk. But, you know... We'll take a... We'll take a shot in the dark. Hopefully this works. I guess we'll know for next time if this is a bad idea or a good idea. We need to find an item to verify, like, how many... Like, if stuff actually went through or not. Because I'm not going to really know otherwise. Um, but anyways. I have tried to lose a dream so many times, but never could do it. It's Mostly because once I start to become aware that I am dreaming, I begin to wake up since that's what would happen when I would have a nightmare. Yeah, so it is very difficult to lose a dream. It is hyper difficult. Because the first hard step is just recognizing that you're dreaming. Um, and then the next big hard step is keeping yourself calm enough because you get really excited when you figure out you're dreaming and that excitement is what wakes you up, right? Um, so you gotta be able to like control the excitement and stay calm when you figure out you, you're, you're dreaming and then you can, you can start doing whatever you want. But you'll notice then the next hardest step about lucid dreaming is maintaining lucidity, okay? Because like... Once you know you're lucid dreaming and you start doing stuff, um, 
It's actually easy to slip back into dreaming and forget that you're lucid. It's this weird, like, in and out flow state of lucidity and then forgetting and going back to dreaming and then lucidity and going back to dreaming. But, like, I remember the first time I lucid dreamed and, like, was able to stay asleep. The first thing I did is I w we were in, like, a car dealership parking lot. So there's a bunch of cars everywhere. And, uh... God, look at this pile, chat. And uh, I just went up to the nearest car. I grabbed the handle of the door and I just ripped it off its hinges. And I'm like, all right, this is cool. Uh, Cause you can do whatever you want. It's a dream. So um, I did that and then what the heck is going on here? Why, is, why was this just on the wall? Free water filter. And then, of course, like most people who do lucid dreaming, you got to do the cliche flying thing. Sitting and I did fly. It was pretty sick. Your game instead of just putting things away as you grab them. I don't know. It seems easier because it's gonna sort everything for me this way. It definitely might crash and break everything though. But then we just have to go get more stuff. You know, no big deal. It'll be fine, chat. It might not be fine, but it could be fine. Uh, but yeah, lucid dreaming is crazy. There's a bunch of weird techniques you can do. Like, you basically, like, uh... Uh... You can, like... Throughout the day while you're awake... You, you come up with a task that's, like, repetitive that you do over and over um, that you wouldn't be able to feel in the, in the dream world, but you would be able to feel IRL. For instance, like, pinching the meat in between your thumb and index finger, you know, that, like, pad there, and just, just like, build that in as a weird, like, habit that you do from now on. So you just keep pinching that like every hour like clockwork until it becomes second nature and you find yourself doing it without thinking it. And you always know what that feels like, right? And then the when you- The last time I got into a lucid dream started when I was speaking to my mother and noticed she had braces. And <laughs> knew that was something she never had and knew I was dreaming. That's interesting. Then I woke up. Yeah, yeah. Hey, we do have a purple key card. Chat, it's right here. Okay, this will be our test. We know there's no- look at the items are vibrating. We know there's no purple key card. Look at they all jiggle when I throw something on it. What the heck? Chat, they're all jiggling when I throw something on it. That's very weird. Okay, anyways. Um, so you're like, you pinch, you know, that area and you can kind of feel a little bit of pain. And then if you start doing that by second nature, you'll end up doing those habits in your dream and you'll notice that it doesn't feel the same, right? You don't feel the pain. And then that's your cue. So you build a weird habit um, that has a feeling associated with it that when you do it, you won't feel it in the dream state. And then you, you in, that's, that's your key. You'll do that habit in your dream and it won't feel like it normally does and boom, that'll trigger like, Oh, dude, I'm dreaming right now, right? Um, so that's like one of the, a good way to lucid dream. Um, but yeah, it's weird, man. You can do kind of whatever you want in your dreams. It opens up like a... It opens up like... All, all of a sudden, this big block of extra time that you would normally just be, like, not awake for, and then you can, like, just do stuff. It's, it's like hacks for time. Very weird. All right, chat, so we need to remember that there's one purple key card and two graphics cards on the ground. All right? I think that's everything. That's all the bags empty. Is that everything? It's everything. Um, so as long as we see one purple key card and at least two graphics card in the kiosk, we know that this method worked, at least to, to some degree. So here's the moment of truth. Wait, I want to see it jiggle one more time. 
so weird. All right, let's hope this Somewhat actually works. I remember, some base things to do to realize your dreaming are try pushing your finger through your hand. Yeah. Try looking for your shadow. Yeah. Look in a mirror. Yeah, those are all those weird habits that you can build, uh, and that you'll you'll do in the dream world when you build those habits. Um. Chat, give me some topics to talk about. I think I'm done with lucid dreaming, but it's pretty cool. You should look into it and give it a try. All right, all the items are gone. Let's see if they're in the kiosk. Oh God, I might have just fucked myself. Okay, nothing's loading here, but I'm guessing it's just taking a really long time because there's a lot of items in there. So we'll see. <laughs> Talk about RimWorlds. Rimworld's a good game. I don't know. It's, it's a sick game. Do I have problems bullet making? Not anymore, I used to. Talk about the legalization of marijuana. It's kind of an interesting one. It's not... Okay, so on, on the, there's two types of government in America. Well, there's three branches. Um, on the federal level, marijuana is in a class of drug that is akin to heroin and like some of the other like high, high-end hardcore drugs. So federally, <laughs> the government considers heroin and weed to be of equal level. Which is crazy. Like, that's insane. Uh, but on the state side, uh, they've been they've been overriding that in a lot of places. But then you have this kind of weird thing. Chat, look for a graphics card. Where, like, the federal government thinks it's this, like, crazy, insane drug. And then states are legalizing it. So you could technically still get in a fuck ton of trouble from the federal government. But, like, everybody's doing it. Okay, so we need to find GPUs. Let's verify if the GPUs made it. Oh, there's so much stuff in here, chat. Oh no. <gasps> there's only one chat. Chat, there's only one GPU in here. Oh no. Is the purple key card in here? Oh no. The key card's not here. Maybe it just doesn't show everything on the list? Maybe there's more stuff it's not showing as we go through it? I doubt it. I bet you there's an upper limit or something and we hit it. Well... <laughs> we might have lost... <laughs> Try reloading? Yeah, I looked for keycard purple. It was not there. Um... <laughs> Um. Look, let's go and raid and die, and maybe really maybe it'll be there. You cleaned. I know, true. I won't have to put all that stuff away. I'm kind of sad because I earned all of that, and I don't know how much of it disappeared. <laughs> but you know, why am I going to island? I wanted to go to missile silo and then just die. I'm just gonna open the menu and hit the suicide option. Time to earn it again. Hold on, maybe it'll be there, chat. Maybe it's just being slow. Let me grab some backpacks. I can carry all this stuff. Backpack, backpack. Well, you know, I I didn't I wouldn't know unless I tried. If that had worked, it would've been such a foolproof way to clean very easily. Whoa, there's hella shit in here now. 
Look, there's 20 frag smokes. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, there's hell of shit in here. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, chat. There's three GPUs! They're here! There's three GPUs. They're here. They're here, they're here, they're here, they're here. Where's the key card purple? It worked, chat. I was gonna say, we, we had to take a risk here of losing the stuff, but this will be such a faster way to clean. Let's see if the key card's in here. There it is! Dude, look at how much stuff. Have you ever seen stuff in the 20s? There's 40 Stanag mags! <laughs> chat, there's so much shit. Oh my god, this is still gonna take forever. Okay, it worked. But now here's the beauty. I just hit receive item. Look, it's gonna sort all of the like items together. At least most of them. So that way I can just like, all right, we grab all the phones. I'm gonna sell all of the like miscellaneous items for money for the game show. Chat, how much money do you think is here? So we're gonna have one bag for selling. And then we'll have one bag for stuff to put away. Maybe I should like do insane sorting. Let me get another bag. Let's see. We want a bag for mags. I want a bag for food and water. I want a bag for gun attachments. I think that's it. And a bag for boxes of ammo. Do I have any more big bags? I got one. Okay, we're gonna sort in here. Booty, booty, booty. How much money do you have now so we can map? Um. I have. 339. You can round up. 340,000 Karunas. So it's a nice, easy number. Uh, okay. This is gonna take forever. After cleaning my base of almost all the guns I had, plus all the mags except three mags for each gun, all my junk, and all my attachments saved for two for each. I made about 600k. Nice, Grandpa Barn. It's a good chunk of change. All right, I'm gonna keep the... What do I keep? I probably keep the selling bag on me so I can access it easier. Cause I don't wanna keep bending down and grabbing these. All right, this one's gonna be our gun attachment bag. So I'm gonna put all the scopes and optics and I'll try and keep like ones together. Damn it. All right, Chad, give me a random topic to rant about. It doesn't have to be about Tabor. You can just like, are you interested in an opinion I have on something? Hmm? What is it, chat? Which opinion are you interested in? Now's the time to ask, and I will rant while we sort these things. Oh my god, it's a lot of optics. <laughs> I think we have too many optics. Arizona Sunshine 2. Ooh, that might be really good. The original Arizona Sh Sunshine was like one of the first like really polished VR games. Chat, I don't think we need all these extra optics. I think I'm gonna sell those. We've got too many of them. Um, so the fact that they're making a second one is pretty cool. Maybe I'll put these three away. What do you think about Bethesda's new game, Starfield? Honestly, I'm hesitant about it. I've seen a little bit of stuff on it, and it looks like... Okay. Tom Howard, which is the owner of Bethesda and the founder of it. Like, don't get me wrong, like, Skyrim's good. I love the Elder Scrolls series, but, like... He's kind of notorious for over-promising shit. <laughs> and, like, not delivering. So... When he's talking about how expansive Starfield was, and like all the hype around it, I'm just like, eh, we'll see it if it happens. And honestly, at first glance, it didn't look very good, if I'm being completely honest. But I've only seen a very small amount of stuff on it, so I could be wrong about that. Um, 
But look, don't let that stop you from enjoying the game. If you think it's cool and you like it, goddamn, look at all this rim. Just play it. And, and decide for yourself. But yeah, I don't know. I love space too. And I love like space exploration games like No Man's Sky. Dude, No Man's Sky is so fun. And if you guys have a PC VR headset, if you have not played No Man's Sky in VR, I highly recommend it. It is so cool, it is so immersive. You need a beefy computer to run it or you're gonna lag a ton. What are but I some of the most played hardcore from your first VR games? From a long time on that. One of my most memorable VR experiences. I think it's one of like I first got my very first headset back when the HTC Vive first came out. And um Man. We played just Tilt Brush, Google Tilt Brush. It's just like a 3D paint or drawing application. And like, dude, it's so good. Like I was just tripping out that like everything was actually in three dimensional space. And like, I brought a friend over to unbox it. My, uh, my good friend and his girlfriend. And we just were like gushing over it dude, for no a long time. Dude, no sky is amazing. I'm yeah. waiting a bit longer to see what happens with Starfield. Yeah, we'll see. Starfield will probably evolve over time. But, uh, yeah, we'll find out. And, like... What was I gonna say? I was gonna say something about the second-to-last question. I forget what it was, though. Oh, No Man's Sky. I played No Man's Sky on the hardcore uh, version in VR. And, like... I think I was at, like, 50 or 60 hours? And I hadn't died at all? I still haven't died. That- that- I just stopped playing. So, I have a hardcore version on VR. Uh, where if you die, it deletes your save. And, uh, how many of these Cobras do we have? Can I sell these? And, like, it was super fun because, you know, I cared about everything that I did. Because one death meant losing everything. I think we have enough Cobras as well. I'm just gonna try and sell as much as I can so I don't have to put it away. Like, we already have a ton of attachments. I don't really need even more. So... Why did I put all the flashlights in here? Fuck it, I think we just sell this bag too. We'll sell this bag. Hey! Sell I... the crypto wallet on your ammo bench. Okay. It's just sitting there? Yeah, we probably have lots of crypto wallets to sell. Maybe not. I don't know, we'll find out. I do want the grenades, though. Let's make a bag full of grenades. Don't you know, boop it up. I just want to throw grenades like a psycho all the time, so having a lot of them is definitely something I want. Thanks for all the bits, chat. Asking me questions. I'm scrubbing chat right now for more things. You are going to break the cell kiosk when you finally make it there. Uh, probably. And if it does break, well, I tried. It's out of my hands. I'm literally just gonna dump the whole bag on there too. So it's there's a there's a very good possibility that we get zero Karunas out of the bag. But we'll be patient, we'll give it time to load and figure out what's in there. And we'll move on with our lives. Did you play Half-Life Alex? I what did. What were your thoughts on it? Uh I thought Half-Life Alex was good. I mean, like if I'm being a stickler about it, it wasn't as good as the other Half-Lifes, but it was in VR, so it instantly, like, bumps up, like, the fun of it. So, I absolutely loved it. Um... But yeah, story-wise... I mean, look, I think all of us wanted a Half-Life 3, like, a continuation of the story. And it was such a cop-out that they decided to do, like... A story about Alex before he meets Gordon Freeman, you know what I mean? And like, I was like, damn it, I w everybody wanted to know, you know, what happened. 
after they got caught by the big alien dude. And we just didn't get that. But regardless, man, what a beautiful game and so interactive and interesting and like, I definitely recommend playing it. It's probably one of the coolest like story shooters that has ever existed on VR, like hands down. Chat, it looks like we're about to do something really bad with this bag. We just like, walk into a local airport. Uh, we got silencers. Where am I putting gun parts? I kind of fucked up and started putting more sellables and stuff. I need a gun part bag. Give me this. I want to keep the silencers. Doo 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 doo. Hi chat. Have I played Bone Lab Fusion? I don't think so. What's Bone Lab Fusion? I played Bone Lab and Bone Works. Hot take, Bone Works' story is so much better than Bone Labs. I get they're trying to do the whole like, you know, stop, just give me the back. I work at the airport XD stint take the out dam. <laughs> Don't worry, I got you. Um, yeah, I like Boneworks' story, uh, like, way better. But Bone Labs was trying to do this whole, like, uh, like, self-aware modding community story, which was cool. Unfortunately, it, I mean, I haven't looked at it in a long time, but when it first came out, God, the mods were all so garbage. The maps that people made were so garbage. It was just utter dog shit. There's, um, there's a really old YouTube video that's on my channel <laughs> that, uh, that goes over a bunch of Bone Labs mods in the really early days, and they're just like, they're all like, so cringy, man. The most fun I had was just like driving a, like different cars down a ramp. That map is cool. But people like tried to make story maps and they're just like, oh my god. They're so cringy. How does it feel knowing you've created this awesome community and are a big streamer man now? Did hmm. you ever think you would get to this point when you streamed other games and only had less than 10 viewers? That's a good question. So I always kind of had the dream of doing it and thought that I could. Um, I definitely could if I kept, because like I'm a firm believer that anybody can do anything as long as they're willing to put the effort into it and learn and get better. So, you know, I thought, yeah, I, I could do this, but I had been streaming for like, 11 years before I saw a lot of the success. So to like, no viewers. Um, but I stayed persistent and I was just like, okay, it's practice. And also, you know, I never really, there was a part of me when I was like streaming and doing that stuff where this bag is full. Yeah, I was like putting in hours streaming, but I didn't do much about like growth and doing things that would help promote growth. All right, that bag's full. Um, I need another grenade bag. Let me go grab one. Uh, so. <sighs> it wasn't until like five, five months ago. Has it been five months chat? I think it's been five months. Um, that I sat down and like, I decided I wanted to like, do things that would help promote growth, which would take a lot of extra effort, um, rather than just trying to grow solely on Twitch, because Twitch doesn't have any like, <sighs> they don't have any algorithms in play like YouTube does that helps, um, discoverability and like finding streamers and things like that. It's literally just like 
Okay, like, if you're a viewer, like, what games do I like? Uh, I like this game. Uh, well, there's, like, 200 people streaming, and we're just gonna show you a list of them from the most viewed channels to the least. So, when you're streaming and starting out, like, you're buried in a sea of, like, zero to five viewer channels. Like, most of them are that. Uh, and, and the likelihood of someone being like, yeah, I'm gonna scroll through these hundreds, hundreds of channels, and I'm gonna watch this random person right here. So, like, the odds of you, like, getting viewers to randomly come in are just so low. Um... That it, it just, just growing naturally on Twitch is basically like a death wish. Like, you shouldn't expect to grow solely on Twitch. Um, so I started doing a bunch of research, uh, and decided, like, you know what, I want to try and give this, like, even more effort than I already have put in just by streaming. And I want to, I want to see if, if, if we can do growth things. So I listened to Ludwig. Ludwig has a really good video on it, on like how to grow on Twitch. Um, and his main piece of advice that I took away was you need to start a YouTube channel. You need to do other social medias, uh, platforms like YouTube, uh, Twitter, TikTok, Shorts, Instagram, uh, and funnel traffic from those sources into uh, the Twitch. And I was like, okay, like, I guess I'm gonna start a YouTube channel and try that out. And, you know, it was probably about eight months ago that I started the YouTube channel. Um, but I wasn't very consistent on it. I basically, like, got an editor, because I was, I don't, I didn't know how to edit at all. And he was really talented. It's Melky. Shout out to Melky. I think that's why I'm a bit lucky or I'm a furry. Sorry, not sorry. And the community is very supportive. The first day I started streaming, I made it to 45 views. God damn. I stopped streaming cause work, but it started fast. Dude, that's huge to have 45 viewers on like some of your first streaming endeavors. Uh, yeah, that's crazy. That's very lucky and out of the norm. Uh, but... I got an editor and like we were just making random like VR content stuff. Another thing was like you need to like get a niche that's not terribly flooded on YouTube and try and cover that. And VR is still whether we want to admit it or not is a niche. Like the majority of people do not have VR headsets. But niches are great ways to stand out. So and I loved VR. I was playing it all the time already. Like I was usually playing VR more than I was flat screen gaming because I just loved the tech. So we made a few videos on like Zenith, uh, which I was playing a lot. It was an MMO um, in VR and I made some guides for that and those actually did decently well. But you know, after the guides, like I wasn't doing like gameplay or anything like that. Um, and I just kind of fizzled out. And then we started doing some, like, bone, a little bit of bone work stuff, or bone labs. Uh, and those didn't get views. Like, even if you go on my, uh... If you dig through my old YouTube videos, you'll see those, like, bone labs videos. I think they only have, like, 300 to 1,000 views. Uh, but on average, they were only pulling, like, 300 views, even after, like, a month. So... You know, those didn't kind of... Those didn't go anywhere, really. Uh, and so I just dropped it. Like, I stopped doing it. Um, because, like, paying the editor was expensive, and I wasn't seeing a return from it, and I was just paying out of my pocket. And, uh, my, my editor also had to, like, go back and do his other job, so, you know, he left and was busy. And so I just kind of, like, gave up on it for a little bit, for, like, a couple months, and stopped making YouTube videos. And then Awakened Toast, some of you guys know the story. Um, I met him in Zenith, and we had been friends for like a year at this point, probably. And uh, he sat me down one day and he was just like, bro, you should like actually give YouTube a try. Like just try, just try it. Just post consistently, post something you like, and uh, just see what happens because uh, his words were like, you have the personality for it, and I think you do really well. You just have to kind of commit to it and, like, stick to an upload schedule. 
I was like, fuck it, all right. I guess I'll, uh, I guess I'll do this again. So keep in mind, there was a lot of phases of me trying the YouTube and then giving up on it and then trying and giving up um, and then trying again this third time after talking with Toast. And, uh, and then that's the first day after that. I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna, we crashed. No, <gasps> no. Tell me all my bags are sorted still on the ground. They're gonna be in the kiosk. They might be sorted still. Oh man, how many times are we gonna crash today, chat? Probably a lot. Time to clean again. No. It's gonna crash again right when I relaunch. It always does this. And I'm gonna have to go restart Steam. We'll get through it though, chat. But anyways, like, that was five months ago. Uh, when I said, fuck it, I'm gonna, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna commit to something kind of insane, which is daily uploads, and I really like Ghost of Tabor. It had just come out, and I'm like, I'm just gonna cover this game and get really good at it, and just do, like, playthrough videos, uh, but also mixing, like, teaching and, uh, doing good commentary the whole time so that people can learn and get better at the game, etc. Um... And I started doing daily uploads. You could see the first video ever. And the thumbnail's garbage. I didn't know how to edit. I didn't know how to make thumbnails. I didn't know how to do good titles. Unfortunately, I have to go board the plane. People want drinks and I need the money. XD, thanks for the entertainment. Good luck cleaning by everyone. Go get that money, Arkine. I appreciate you. Serve those good drinks. Um, thanks for hanging out and for the bits. Hey, the game actually launched again. That never happens. I usually have to restart stream or uh, Steam. And like, I didn't know how to do any of that stuff, chat, but I still made the commitment. I was like, I'm just gonna do this. And that's the hardest part about starting anything is just like actually taking the leap to say, I'm gonna commit to doing this. Even if you don't know how to do it. Like, because the whole point of, hello? There's a free bag in my hand. The whole point of like committing to doing something, even if you don't know how to do it, is you're gonna get better and learn how to do it over time. So I put my perfectionist side uh, aside on making videos. Cause before like a lot of what was holding me back from making videos was like, it's not good enough. Like I can make it better. I could do better edits, like et cetera, et cetera. Um, and I could come up with thousands of reasons to not post a video, right? But I put that aside and I said, screw it. Like, everybody's like first couple videos, if not first hundred videos are ass. They are dog shit. They're horrible. But every time you make one, especially if you're doing them daily, every time you make them, you're getting a little bit better. It's practicing a skill. It's just like playing a video game. At the beginning, you suck at it, right? Because you don't know what you're doing. You don't know how to do the right things. You don't know the best things to do. But every time you play and you, and you die over and over, you get better each time. It's the same concept for anything that you do in life. So I just applied that to YouTube. And I taught myself how to edit. I'm still not a good editor, but you know, you, I'm still getting success from it. Um, I taught myself how to make thumbnails. Uh, I got a lot of help from Awakened Toast. He mentored me a ton and like showed me how he does thumbnails and like some tactics. And so I did. A, I spent a lot of time researching uh, and and learning as much as I could. I'm looking for the backpacks. Chat, where are the backpacks? Hold on, I'll continue the story in a second. Where are the backpacks? It should be custom gear tech. I guess it could be some of the custom adventure backpacks too. It's definitely not it. Uh shit. Custom. Hold on, chat. I need to find these and then I'll continue the story. Chat, help me find them. They should be a custom. Gear techs and adventure backpacks. Chat I don't see them. You should sell as you go, so you don't crash. We can. Fuck, are they not here? I'm gonna start from the bottom and go up. 
Okay, wait. Custom adventure. God damn it. That's not it. Custom adventure. That's not it either. Oh no. Custom adventure. That's not it either. Chat. Where are the bags I just sorted? Custom adventure. That's not it either. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. They're not here. They're not here, chat. Chat, they're not here. Oh, fuck. Um. Maybe I load into raid and back, and it'll fix it. Oh, boy. Bruh. I just had all of those. They were so sorted. Let me put these other bags away at least. Put them on the wall so they're not in there. Uh Anyways, so I just, I just taught myself all those things because I was willing to commit to a daily upload schedule. And my first videos are really rough, but now the videos are where they are now because I stuck to it and every time I did it, I got a little better at it. So it's all about just kind of committing to something and being willing to learn new skills even though you don't know how to do it. And that's where all the, uh, those YouTube videos started doing really well. It was in a niche where not a lot of people were covering Ghost of Tabor, so it was a lot easier to stand out um, and be found. And I plugged the Twitch channel a little bit uh, in each of those videos, and now we have a Twitch channel that is alive and well and growing uh, because of that, because of the YouTube videos. So spending that time to like not just stream on Twitch and commit to doing other things that would help with growth, that's when things exploded very quickly. And when I started doing Tabor, I think I only had like 500 subscribers, maybe less, like 300. Um, and five months later today, you know, we just broke 10,000 and that growth is crazy. But all that time streaming to no audience wasn't a waste either. Um, all that time gave me practice streaming, just like I had to practice making YouTube videos. Um, I would get on and stream crazy hours. I would stream all the time. And just practice, like, being engaging, rather than just sitting there saying nothing and playing a video game. Because I think that's a lot of, like, one of the big misconceptions that people make when they stream. It's like, oh, I can just play video games and make money. It's, it's not, I wish it was just that. That would be cool. But then everybody would be doing it, right? Um, but it's not just that. It, it's, it's, you have to be engaging. You have to learn how to speak your mind so that people can follow along with what you're doing easily. And, you know, all these other, like, Presentation and hosting skills. And now you and have over 10,000 people that love to watch you play tape. Exactly. So, um, and then the original question was like, how does it feel to have like a community like this? It's very surreal. Like, like surreal in the way that like, 
I don't think like, oh my god, I don't deserve this. That, and that might sound kind of like conceited, but you know, I put a lot of work in and effort. So like, can we get W's for I, I'm just, tenacity for his growth? I appreciate awesome it. Work, Tam, th, man. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, but you know, like I put a bunch of effort into it. And I worked really hard to, to get to where I am. Like, I was working a full-time job and doing YouTube edits daily and making videos and streaming. I had, like, one hour, one to two hours of free time a day. And that was it. Like, it was suffering when I was working my actual job alongside this. Like, I didn't have time for friends. I had to explain to all of them, like, look, I'm not going to be around. Like... I had to sacrifice so much of my free time that I was used to having to make this work. Like, it's not easy, but if you're willing to commit to it and willing willing to like put in hard work, like I think anybody can make anything happen. And so that's what I did. Um, and it was, <laughs> it was, it was so difficult and suffering like, just keeping myself mentally sane over the first like three to four months of it, of daily uploads while having a, an actual job was, was very difficult. Um, but I did it, I persisted, and I wanted to give up a lot, chat. That's normal. Like, I, I wanted to give up a lot and just say, fuck it, dude, this is too much work. I'm not doing this. Um, and I would think that for a few moments, this was usually like, it's like 2 a.m. and I haven't done the edit for tomorrow's video. And I'm like, I have to get a video done, but I don't want to do this. Like, I just want to relax and have time to myself. And so I'd have those thoughts for a while, and then I'd be like, nope, you committed to it. Just push through. It sucks. I know you don't want to do this, but just go do it. And then I'd go edit and make the video. I have not missed a single day. Uh, five months straight. That's how, like, hardcore committed I am. So... From the day that I committed to daily uploads to five months later to today, I have not missed a single upload. Because I feel like if I miss one... Oh my god, they're all here! <gasps> oh, they're here, chat! We're okay, everything's fine. Everything's fine, chat. Now the question is, is where did I put that other backpack? Did I put it up here? I was kind of like not paying attention and doing stuff while I was talking. Um, I think I put it up here. Yeah, I did. So, like... It, it, I felt like if I missed a single day, it would be easy to talk myself into missing other days and giving excuse of, like, well, you know, you've missed an upload before and it was fine. Like, you can miss some. Like, it's okay. And then I would, like, start getting lazy about it. So I just refused to let myself miss a day. Um, and one of the big key things this li in life, one of the like best pieces of advice I've ever given, and I'm going to give it to you guys now, is you need to start getting good at doing the things you don't want to do. Get good at doing stuff you don't want to do. It's like, it's literally the most important skill I've ever learned in my life. Because not everything is like, man, I'm so excited to do this right now. Like, I love this. It's gonna be days, especially if you're grinding it out, where you just fucking hate it. Like, you, that's the last thing in the world that you want to do. But get good at doing the shit you don't want to do, because in those times when you don't want to do it, and you need to stay consistent and actually get it done, you can push yourself and be like, all right, I'm gonna get this done. Um, and and here we are now. And it, it like I said, it feels surreal. But at the same time, it's it's the fruits of like all this effort and like um, all the the work that I put into and all the effort I put into like learning things I didn't know how to do and really like it's it's really fucking cool and it is still surreal regardless. Now it's impossible for like me it's to wild. Love it though. I'm headed to raid then bed. Have a good cleaning session. Love good luck on chats. raid. Have a good one chat. I'm glad you enjoyed chat, PD. I'm giving you all my good luck because I don't need it right now. Cause I'm sorting, so you can you have it all. Sell those bags so you don't lose them again to a crash. I mean, I didn't lose them. I just had to go into raid and back. Chat, do you guys want me to sell these? Chat, press one if you want me to sell them now. 
I think we, we just sell those two bags. You want me to sell as I go? Alright. Well, I'm just putting the whole bag on. I'm not taking them out. It's gonna take too long. <laughs> Let's hope that that shit shows up on the terminal. I'll refund the big bags. I'll just sell the items inside. What up, Brooks? Uh, hello? Is this thing on? Goodbye, bag. No! No, it's gonna come back. It'll be fine. It's just thinking, chat. It's got a lot to think about. Right? I hope. Alright, well, that thinks. I might as well just... Wait, no. If we crash, and there's items here, it might not be good. It's just thinking, right, chat? Chat? Hello? Where's all the items I just put there? I'm gonna get a drink of water, and when I come back, they're gonna be here. Right? Yep. Hey! Uh, it actually worked! You just gotta not look at it. All the doubters in chat? Well, look at me now, huh? Look at me now. Chat, how much money did we have to start? Did you guys write it down or remember? Because I don't remember. Don't ram. Junk phone! 340k? Okay. Capacitors! Flashlights! Have ever play into the radius <gasps> Fuck! I sold the gear please. tech! Well, rip gear tech. We'll find another. I didn't mean to! Smitty says, have you ever played into the radius? Yes, I have. And I loved it. It's been a very long time since I've played it, so I would like to play it again. Sh chat, should I take it all out like this individually? I kind of don't want to. But it might actually chat save time. This silly man. <laughs> no. I was just clicking too fast and I sold the gear tech. You guys want me to do it like this? <laughs> They're all laughing! Look, it's still not showing up. I'm putting the whole bag in, I just won't sell the gear tech next time. I'll be better about it. I can't believe I sold a gear tech. That sucks. Chat, where are my items? If it still takes time to think, I'm just putting the whole bag in. Poop, where's the undo button? Long. I know, there isn't one. It's gone. It's gone. Go get more water? Oh, okay. They're not here yet. I drink water. Never heard TTS say boop. Well, you did now. Hey, there they are. Chad, this is gonna take a long time to sort through all this stuff. It's just gonna take a long time to even sell it. <gasps> oh god, we're gonna be here for a while. Chat, did I... I think I completed the YouTube and Twitch rant, right? Give me something else to rant about. Chad, what do you want to hear about? <laughs> laughing emote. Drink water harder. I tried. You know you can sell multiples, right? Nope, but I see that now in the top corner. Uh, thank you. I will use that. Penis. Glad I read chat. 
Good message. Yeah, it looked like there was an arrow at the top right that lets you set the quantity. I'm guessing what that How was. About what sort of things you want to see added in table that hasn't been mentioned? <sighs> Stuff that hasn't been mentioned? I don't know if I have anything that hasn't been mentioned yet, but... Something I'm... Uh, things that I'm very excited for is just more progression. We have too many pistols, so I guess we're gonna sell these. Do I start putting mags away? I need to do mag checks. Do we even need these mags? Hold on, let me look at my mag situation. So what do I need? We need Stanags, we need AK mags. Um... I, d I need uh, deagle mags. I don't know. I don't need much of the common mags. We have a lot of those. So I think I'll sell these orange ones. Uh, but things to be added. I mean, we've they've already been talked about, but some of the biggest thing is going to be like progression systems uh, and like more in-depth quests because character progression and what this means is like not just player leveling but like leveling stats and what individual skills what is your dream this current time right. if that isn't too personal to ask no I'll, I'll answer that um but first like any sort of progression system and like long term long term goals that you can work on well breathe so much replayability to this game. It already has good replayability, but it'll be insanely higher when we get to that point. Like, we're talking about really long quest trees that you have to go down and finish all the ones before that to get to some really cool big reward at the end. Um, not just the missions we have now where it's just the same repeatable ones. Those will be massive. And then all the individual skill leveling, like uh, leveling up strength, which means you can carry more weight when you run around without being movement hindered and you have more stamina because of that. Uh, leveling up gun handling skills, leveling up uh, just like thirst and, and water things, leveling up, um, there's all sorts of shit. All sorts of like character, like MMO progression stuff that's coming to the game. Um, and they're working on that. Okay, I want to keep these mags. Stanags we need. Especially full Stanags. Let me stack these. Dreams, someone asked? Hmm. What are my dreams? Dreams as a kid? What did I have as a kid as a dream to do? I don't know, I just wanted to play video games. <laughs> I was so obsessed with video games as a kid. I liked video games because like, it was a whole new world that was different than the world that we lived in with its own set of rules uh, that you can sit down and figure out how to like, learn and be good at. Like, it was like a brand new puzzle and I always liked deep thinking and like figuring shit out. Um, I've always considered myself a little bit smarter uh, and and games were like a huge outlet of like sharpening my brain and that might sound weird but like I dissected every game I played and would try to figure out like the most efficient ways to do things etc um, and I think that sharpened my brain quite a bit uh, rather than just, like, watching TV. Because if you just sit there and watch TV for most of your free time, like, you're not really engaged. You're not problem solving. You're not thinking on the fly. You're not critically thinking. You're not making snap decisions that need to be good. Like, you're just sitting back and enjoying a show. Holy shit, look at how many Stan Egg Mags we have. That's too many. That's way too many. I'm gonna keep them, though. It's a lot of stan eggs, chat. Um, 
I don't know. What dream did I have as a kid? Can I even remember? What did I want to do? I definitely, like, was into programming, too. I wanted to program... Oh, that's what it was. I wanted to make video games. I thought it would be so cool to actually make games. And actually, when I went to college the first time around, um... I went to a game art and design school. Uh, so I learned, like, how to work in Unity. I learned how to work in Maya, uh, which is like a 3D modeling program. Um, I learned how to 2D animate. I learned how to 3D animate. Um, I learned a little bit of coding. It was more f that school, unfortunately, I didn't know this. Because I didn't really have help picking out schools. It was just me doing it. Um, it would have been nice if my parents helped a little bit more with that. Um, they didn't do very much programming at that school. It was more the art side of video games and like making assets. And I was definitely more interested in the programming side. But I had always kind of been into art. Like I drew a lot as a kid. I had like a sketchbook and all that stuff. Um, I took art classes in school, um, so I did like the art stuff there, but I definitely wanted to code more. We made a bunch of prototypes. I remember me and my good buddy in college, we made a, a scary game prototype, and like our character kind of looks like Slenderman, and we like, we made this like hotel lobby, uh, and like hotel rooms and stuff, and we added, it was like a playable experience, and um, like an actual real short snippet of a game. And we, once we were like kind of done with it, because we had to submit it as a project. I need another bag for food. Do we need these water bottles? We don't really need them. I'm just going to sell them. Uh, I wanted like a bunch of people. We were, were like playtesting the game with some of our other college buddies. We'd sit them down. We'd put headphones on them. And we'd have him play the game. Chat, I could probably find it. I probably still have a copy of it somewhere. It'd be kind of funny to look at. And like, uh, we had him play through it and we actually jump scared quite a few people. Like, they actually got spooked by some of the intricate, like, scares we set up. They weren't just like, pop in your face scares. They were, they were very like, intricate and thought out, um, scenarios that would trigger scares and like, we thought it was so cool that like we made something that actually scared people and like they thought was cool. Um, and that was really fun. So yeah, I went to art school. I wanted to make video games. I think a lot of people want to do that. Um, just cause I was so, I don't know. I was so obsessed with video games. My dad was a big gamer and he's the one who got me into all this stuff. Um, but I, I stopped going to college after two and a half years. The, the school got de-accredited. <laughs> Which means, basically, they got evaluated by, like, the educational board. And they're like, yeah, what you're doing here is, like, kind of not up the code. And you're, like, cutting a lot of corners. So, everybody who has credits here, um, they don't count. Because you're not following proper teaching. And so <laughs> I lost all of the progress that I did at, at college. I lost all of the credits and I had to start over when I went to college again the second time. But yeah, that was rough. So yeah, I guess dreams as a kid was making video games for sure. I still have some of those skills. They come in handy. If you dig through some of the VOD channel on YouTube, you'll see some VODs where I was VR prototyping. I made a few prototypes in VR of like mechanics and game ideas. Uh, I would love to finish some of those. I just, with all the time I'm spending on the content right now, I kind of just don't have time for it right now, but maybe in the future, uh, when I get an editor and I can free up all that time editing, um, we could sit down and I can show you some VR game dev. If you could add a map to Tabor, what kind of location would it take place in? Hmm. Kind of location? Hmm. 
We already kind of have a woodsy map. I like the wood stuff. Thank you for sharing, Heart. You are a smart, talented person. Thank you, Brooks. I'm happy your path brought us all together. Yeah, agreed. I'm here now because of everything that happened in my life, so... I don't regret anything. Uh, a map. A map. Hmm. I did it. I got Brian to pronounce the name of the game right. It's Tabor. Tab Tabor. Tabor. That's much better than Tabor. It's a lot closer, too. There's a food item. This is a bar mag. I don't care. <clears throat> I'm just selling all the stuff we don't care about. Um, <clears throat> what map? Hmm. A snow map might be kind of interesting, but that would be complicated because we'd need the ability to, like, camo properly. Like, we'd need to be able to camo up in snow gear or else we'd stick out like a sore thumb. Uh, and maybe with some weather, like, you know, actual snow coming down. Um, I think weather effects on any of the maps would be cool where we have random weather, whether it's raining or, you know, whatever it happens to be. Because that makes the current existing maps interesting if there's dynamic weather on it. Uh, because... You know, most of the time it'll be sunny and normal, but you'll have those those times where, you know, it's it's a downpour. It's it's pouring so much that the rain is so loud that you have a hard time hearing footsteps or anything like 10, 20 feet away from you. So all of a sudden it changes the, di the dynamic of how you play the map because you can't hear as well. Visibility is a lot lower. You know, there's a fog in the air. And it makes already pre-existing maps, like, feel different. So, like, I know that's not really an answer of, like, what map you'd like, but that would definitely be really cool on all the maps. Um, we have plenty of lasers, chat. We're just gonna sell all these. I don't want these mags. There's a bunch of deagle mags there. Alright, let's sell this bag. It's quite full. Uh, we're gonna have to give it time to load. Tangerines. It's a good food bag. It's a good grenade bag. It's a good mag bag. God, are we even getting through this list though? This list is massive. Thunder to mass shots. Yeah. POV tan is my brother in my room when I'm gone. What? What, like digging through all your stuff and cleaning your room? You got a nice brother. Dude, if I had a brother that would randomly go in my room and just clean it, it'd be sick. Chat, what else you got for me? I can rant about almost anything, but I need you guys to fuel the rant. I'm looking at you, Chet. Hi, Chet. It'll be the bag of the conveyor belt. <laughs> yeah, it's freaking out. So here's the quantity thing. Put three. And then sell. Ooh. Block mag. we put it up to seven. I wonder if I can push left and it goes to max. Nope. <laughs> that would be cool. Wait, it went to zero? Ah, negative one? Hold on. What happens when I sell negative 37 Glock mags, chat? I'm at 404,000. Oh god. I probably shouldn't even show this. This might be really bad. Um. Um. Please don't actually work. Players trying to sell something they don't own. Okay, good. All right, so thank God selling negative isn't a trick to just like make tons of money. It's interesting that it goes to negative. Wait, what happened? Why did it just go to the next one? 
Why is there 51 Glock mags in here? Wait, what the fuck? Chat. I definitely didn't put 51 Glock mags in a bag, right? Um, so mechanic wise, do items and like mags that are on the ground just go to kiosk when you go in raid? Yeah, they do. They just go to the kiosk. Chat? Uh oh. Uh oh. Hold on. One egg. We need to. We need to verify this. Oh God. I hope I didn't just ruin the economy. We need to see if this is real or not. So we have four hundred and nine thousand seven hundred and twenty-one. An agram mag is six hundred and forty-eight. So we should have about four hundred and ten thousand and some change when I sell one. But if I do this. So we should only have about 410,000. I just kept hitting the right arrow. Okay, maybe I didn't do anything. Maybe I... Maybe I did put 50? Did I actually put 50 Glock mags in a bag? Maybe I actually did. I don't know, I was just hitting the right arrow and all of a sudden the item changed. And it said I had 50 of them. You have to click sell one on negative. All right, let's try this. So we have 23 lasers. How much does 23 lasers sell for? This is bad. Let's say like, let's say like 26,000. So we should get about 436,000 after selling this. Oh wait, I was supposed to hit sell. Four hundred twenty-six thousand. Oh no, it's 3K each. 3K times 23. What is that? It's like 60, we'll say 70,000. So I should have 480,000 after selling these. So now we go all the way back. So I hit sell. I kept hitting right and then all of a sudden it changed. It's not changing. Hmm, I don't know what happened. Hello, everybody. Yo. <gasps> there it did, it happened. Now there's 52 in here. Wait. So 478,000. Oh no. What have I done? This is actually a big deal. This is a problem. Let me see if this is real. It gave the, me the money for selling 20 of them. Now it says I have 52 of them. Oh no. Oh no. I was just fucking around and I saw it could go into the negatives. Okay, let me see if it gives me money for this. Tan, you should post this video in the okay. report. It says I don't have those items to sell. So I think we're good, chat. Wait. I think we're good. Because I just sold like... Technically I sold like 40 of them just now. And it only... It didn't give me 40 worth of money. We're still at 470,000. I think it's fine. I don't know. There's something weird going on there. There's something very weird going on there. I don't really know what it is. It didn't give me the money for 50 of them, though, but it did show that... What if I refund it? No, no, oh god. I think we have to tell the devs about this. 
I think we, I think we have to tell the devs about this. Can I? Oh no. All right, let's try it with CPUs. I should stop doing what I'm doing. I'm, I'm not. I'm not gonna do Devil this anymore. Will not give you the refunded stuff. It will just be removed. Okay, we should be fine. I think. I think. I think it's fine. I don't think I got anything extra. It just looked weird. I don't think I got extra money for it. And hopefully if you refund it, you don't get all those items. It should be fine. That's, that's definitely weird though. Uh, Halo. What was I talking about before I got distracted that we went into the negative? I don't know, something. AK mags. Mags actually sell really well now. Chat, mags are selling for like around 600 a pop. You should take the mag from every single gun. To put that into perspective, like RAM was selling for like 200, 300. So a mag is worth more than RAM. And then, let me see if we can find another item. There's our gear tech, we refund that. Very weird. Where's my other gear tag? It's full of food. Um, I need another bag. I need another bag. Let me go grab one. This shit was weird. It was very weird. Good night, Grandpa right. Bard. I'm now heading to bed. Before Dan finds some game breaking bug that somehow auto cleans and sorts his stuff. Oh, that would be Night sick. All. See you next stream. Good night, Bard. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for all the bits, man. Appreciate you. What are these? These are little 22 mags. I don't care about these. I'm gonna sell them. Uh, where's our new selling bag? Let's we use this one. Hi, chat. What do you want me to rant about, huh? Where's my mag bag? Right here. Put ammo modules in here. We need these. While I clean this entire thing. Is that the 5.7 mag? Fuck, was it? No, the 5.7 mag is like weird and big, right? I think that was the 22. No, I don't know what it was. Rant about Joe Biden. He's a sleepy guy. Honestly, I don't know how he made it to like be a president. Not to have like anything against either party, like Republican or Democrat, but it's just like, bro, he's so old. <laughs> he's like barely functioning. His brain, I don't think is working most of the time. So, I'm just very confused by him. Like, very. But I guess he's president. Do we need more cantids? We probably do. Let's put it in our gun attachment box. All our gun attachments here. And... Do these ones. Hi chat, I'm looking at you for something to rant about. Ideas about new bosses? Uh, that's kind of up to the devs. Yeepie, hi clever. 22 is skinny and tall. I wonder what mag that was that I sold then. No, I don't really have any ideas for bosses. It'd be cool if they added streamer items in. Chat, would you like a little cat plushie? A cute Teemo plushie that you can find in Raid and bring back into your bunker? For our streamer item? Wouldn't that be sick? I think that the devs talked about adding streamer items. Because, uh... Escape from Tarkov does it. Where's my cell bag? Is it this one? 
Yeah, what mags are these, chat? Chat, what mag is this? Yes, yes, yes. The round looks tiny. An IRL plushie. You guys want an IRL Teemo plushie? It is the 5.7 mag, you guys are right. Okay, so I want to keep the 5.7 mags. We'll use those. Let me put them in here. Uh, but yeah, that would be sick. I was thinking about like what our streamer item could be, and I think it could just be like a like a, a cat, a Teemo plushie. You guys can have your own Teemo in raid. Can you imagine if it was a live cat that you pick up by the scruff that you find in raid, and you stuff it in your backpack, and you take it home, and it like walks around, and you gotta feed it cat food and water? <laughs> bunker cat! I think everybody would want a bunker cat, but there's no way they would add that. Like, no way. It's like a whole, like, side minigame mechanic where you have to take care of a pet inside your bunker. Honestly, I think a lot of people would love it, but I doubt that they would do that. Wouldn't that be sick? Like, you come home, like, after a raid, and he's just waiting for you, purring. He, like, jumps up on the ammo belt when you're, like, making ammo and, like, swatting at it because it's making noise. You can pet him and he purrs. Dude, the community would go nuts for that, but they'll never make it. <laughs> Don't it's never gonna happen chat. This is I doubt it. It's not gonna happen Hey look my other gear tech uh, Maybe we can fill it with gunpowder. Yeah, let's fill this gear tech up with gunpowder. We're on the gunpowder phase Never say never Anything is possible, Dan. It, that is true, you're not wrong. I just doubt that that would be high up <laughs> anytime soon on the devs' priority list when they have a game they're trying to flesh out. It's like, yeah, let's make, let's like put two months of develop, development on hold so we can make this cat. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it's not, it's probably not gonna happen. What if I just throw stuff over there? I feel like I'm gonna miss a lot. I could just like throw things on that conveyor belt. Yeah, I'm gonna miss a lot. We don't need PK sites, we've got plenty of them. Favorite movies or anime? Ooh, favorite movies or anime? Okay, so I really like Made in Abyss. Um, but it's not like an anime I can recommend to people who have like... <sighs> There's just some kind of like, very questionable stuff in that show that didn't necessarily need to be in there. But man, the world that they made in Made of an Abyss, like, they need to make a game about it. The world is so interesting, the mechanics of the world and how it works is so interesting. Um, Made in Abyss is probably one of my favorites. Steins Gate is probably my favorite. It's a time travel one. I think that probably beats all of them. Steins Gate is so interesting. Um, uh, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood is really good. It's really well written. That's like one of the few mainstream animes that I really like. They just did such a good job. Um, movies. Hmm, what movies? What up, Artilus? Movies? What are my favorite movies? The original Matrix, like the first one, fucked me up as a kid, and I loved that movie. I was like seven years old when I watched The Matrix, and I like... I was a very panicky child, because my brain was very overactive, and I'd overthink things a lot. And, like, after I watched The Matrix, I couldn't stop thinking that I couldn't disprove the fact that we might be living in, like, a similar reality right now. Yes, seven-year-old Tan was thinking about that. Um, it's not a normal thing that seven-year-olds think about. But, like, I couldn't disprove that, like we weren't living in a world like the matrix and it, that freaked me out like hardcore i was a mess after that but the movie's so good 
Very, very good. I really like The Matrix. Um, but of all time, it's probably not my all-time favorite. What's my all-time favorite movie? That's a hard question. Ooh, maybe Her. Chad, if you guys haven't seen the movie Her, it's a little bit of a sappy movie, but like, you know, it's about like, uh, artificial intelligence becomes really advanced, and they make this operating system that, uh, you know, is, is all based off of artificial intelligence, and the guy end, ends up, as well as a lot of other people, falling in love uh, with his operating system, and, like, it's a really interesting story, um, it's really beautiful, It'll make you cry a lot. Um, I really like that movie. That movie's got like a soft spot in my heart. Might be one of my favorites. It's so good. If you haven't seen her and you like AI stuff, you should watch it. It's very good. On community day, having something else that's not join my party or join my game, like go naked and put a 50 point bounty on you and you just try to survive. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea, Spinny. Yeah, I'll think about that and try and apply it if we can. All right, this bag's full, so I need another bag for mags. Let's grab another bag. Oh. Okay, this is the mag bag. We'll start filling this one up now. Uh, chat, what are, what are some of your favorite movies or shows? Put it in the comments below, or if you're here live, type it right now. I wanna see, I'm gonna read some of them. You guys got some shows or movies you like? Grandma's Boy, that's a hilarious movie. <laughs> Holy shit, that movie's so funny. Black Hawk Down, okay, that's an intense one, I remember that. Critters, I haven't seen that in a long time. Kick-Ass is good. Um, getting Scammed Out of 80k, I've never seen that movie. American Sniper was good, I remember that. Jackass is super funny, dude. The Eric Andre show is hilarious too. Die Hard with a Vengeance. The Wolf of Wall Street, yeah. Saving Private Ryan. Dude, my dad, <laughs> my dad brought me to see Saving Private Ryan when I was like six years old or something <laughs> in theaters. He just wanted to see it so bad and he's young, right? He's not really thinking it through much. And he's like, we're gonna go see Saving Private Ryan. It's like an R-rated movie he's walking like a six year old into. That's like, if you guys haven't seen that movie, it's like, gruesome warfare. It is so fucking brutal and disgusting and like hardcore. <laughs> my dad is so funny. <laughs> oh my god. I remember uh I remember him trying to explain it to other people. He's like, "Yeah, I took my my two sons to see Saving Private Ryan. They're like 6 and 5." <laughs> And people are just like, well, what's wrong with you? Like, why would you take him to see that? Oh, man. I remember that. Holy shit. <laughs> Squanto, Kurt Cobain. The Last Warrior. Band of Brothers I tried to watch. I didn't get into it. But I didn't, like, really give it the attention it deserved. If some of you guys are joining late and are wondering what's going on right now, I'm cleaning and we're just we're just chatting with chat. So I'm sorting everything that we have because you know I hate doing that. Um, and we're gonna finally clean this kiosk out and all the bags. It's gonna take way too long, but I'm committed. Has this list gotten smaller, bro? Look at the scroll bar. Chat, there's no way we get through this. How long have we been doing this already? We're not even like... <laughs> are we even like a tenth the way through? 
Watch out, there's too- we have too much stuff! Someone do this for me! I don't want to do it! Dude, Napoleon Dynamite's a throwback, man. I- I would- like... When I was a kid, I watched Napoleon Dynamite, like, over and over and over again. I've probably seen that movie, like, 20 times. We liked it so much. When I was younger, we had, like, a little handheld, like, camera. Like, one of those old cameras that would record to, like, a mini VHS tape. Because I'm old, chat. And, um... <laughs> I would like to make a lot of movies and stuff when I was a kid, or like little shorts. I would do like clay animation, I would do like stop motion films, I would get my friends and my brother and my family to like act stuff out that I wanted. And we were like really obsessed with the, uh, Napoleon Dynamite. And uh, this is the wrong bag. Putting stuff in the wrong bag. And so we like, we acted out a bunch of scenes. <laughs> I wish I had some of that footage. I would love to show you guys. I think it's so funny. We like sit around and uh... And just recreate some of the scenes and record it. And like try and talk like Napoleon Dynamite. And it was like, dude, those are like some of like more fond memories when I was younger. This shit was so funny, dude. My friends and brother were such like a good sport, like sitting down and actually doing it. Oh man, this shit's good. This is my selling bag? Okay, we put this to sell in here. I remember like, I would get fancy with audio effects. I'd have Halo on a TV, Halo 1 on a TV next to me. And we were doing the skit where like, a f one of my friends would go like, into this area, it was just like under a blanket. And like, it would transform them into something else. And so, like, we'd have a shot of, like, my friend going into the blanket, and then I'd be off the side holding the camera and holding an Xbox controller, and I had, like, a plasma pistol in, uh, in the original Halo. And, like, I'd charge a shot. I'd hold it down. And then I'd let it go. You guys know that sound. And, uh, that was, like, our, like, built-in sound effects, like, after effects for, like, the transformation. And then we put my cat underneath and cut and then had the cat walk out. Like, really silly stuff, but I just think it was funny, like, I'm like, how can I get sound effects in? It's like, oh, let's put Halo up on the side screens and then turn the volume up on the TV. And, like, have someone do stuff there and we can use that for sound effects. Damn, I wish I had some of that footage. I'll have to talk to my mom and see if she's got any of it. I think it'd be kind of funny to show you guys. We reenacted the whole, uh, <laughs> original World of Warcraft intro, too. <laughs> There's a bunch of cuts of me getting so angry with... with my brother and my cousin, because they weren't taking it seriously, and I was, like, taking it really seriously. Like, I'm dressed as, like, a tauren doing the, like... Uh, you know, like, they sprinkle, like, herbs in the air, and, like... He like shakes his head. There's that scene. Some of you guys know what it is and like I'm doing this over and over and like I had to give someone else the camera I usually like being the camera person, but uh, my cousin's just like zooming in on dog shit in the lawn <laughs> While I'm doing the scene and I have to like redo it over and over because they're just fucking around uh, That shit's funny, dude. I have a lot of fond memories of that shit <laughs> it's, like, it's like bro, what are you doing? Okay, those pistols made me crash earlier, chat. So, I think we need to sell... Where are my sell bags? These are both the sell bags. So let's sell these, and I'll put the other bags on the wall in case we crash. But those Rugers were making me crash before. Alright, now we sit here and wait. And hope that items show up from those bags. We'll sell that. Get wrecked, ghost. This is the hardcore account. I'm just selling stuff to get rid of it and have the money. I might transfer the money to my main account uh, so we can do game shows with it. Um, but I don't buy anything on this account. What item or weapon would you like to see in the game? A lighter would be cool. A dynamite stick, like you said. Uh... Wait, why is it logging in, checking Steam? 
the fuck? Why is it checking Steam? It's scaring me. What item do I want in the game? Shit, I don't know. Chat, what item do you want in the game? You tell me. What item do you want in Ghost of Tabor that doesn't exist already? 21 PK sites and RPG. Cigarettes and Tabor? Dude, I'd be down. Don't smoke, kids. It's bad. But dude, smoking in VR is sick. I would love to smoke cigarettes in Ghost of Tabor. M2 Mortar? <laughs> That'd be crazy. A shopping cart. It might be coming. It might be coming. I know a certain dev who's obsessed with their shopping cart. Yeah, I love smoking cigarettes and Into the Radius. That was so sick. Hang glider? Stop. <laughs> yeah, they are gonna add a bone arrow, but like... Maybe this is a hot take, but I think that's really silly. <laughs> I mean, do it! Like, who cares about what I think? You know, put it in the game, but like... A bone arrow? Why? Like, why? <laughs> Actually, why? I don't know, so you could have silent people running around killing stuff? It just seems really like a weird idea, because you have to like, make good bow mechanics and work on this whole thing that's just like such a small part of the game. It just feels like a very weird thing to add. But that's just my opinion. I know a lot of people would like it. But it just seems really weird. Chat is fucked up, <laughs> says FNC. <laughs> oh, because someone said add blow upable orphanages? Yeah, chat is fucked up. Walter White is just like. He's just a cringe lord. Sometimes he's funny, and then, like, sometimes he's just like, bro, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Get some help. <laughs> It was not me, guys. Everybody at Walter White and, like, I don't know, give him an email or something. We're outing him right now. What the fuck, Tan? Not nice. Bro, you typed in my chat. I don't know what to say. Why are you embarrassed about what you typed? If you didn't care, if you, like, stand behind what you type, then you shouldn't be embarrassed at all. You should be like, Hell yeah, that's me. You know what I mean? You shouldn't care. But if you care, then, you know, maybe... Maybe you should tone the edge lord down. That's up to you, though. <laughs> A scythe would be lit. Um... Okay. That's fine, Shrekler. Chat, yeah, give me something else to rant about while I go through and sell this stuff. Okay, I should probably put these backpacks up. Because I'm like near positive we're gonna crash. So let me grab these. Grab the grenade bag. And put these on the wall. There's food. There's nades. Which one's this? This is gunpowder. Let's put it in this room. Gunpowder. Um. We've got more nades. We've got our mag pouches. these here. Okay, now I'm gonna try and grab that silver pistol. Oh, we got another grenade. I'm gonna try and grab that pistol and see if I crash again. If I crash again on that pistol, then that item's bugged and we just can never touch it. I'm gonna start with the, the bottom one and work my way up. 
Okay, no crash. Good. No crash. Good. I have a feeling it's this one. No crash. Good. Let me sell these before things go south. Neat, 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 neat. All right. Ah, no crash. All right. We're good. So we skip the crash bag. Um, That's good. I thought for sure that was gonna crash me. All right, let me grab the gunpowder bag. I kinda need everything. What's well, not full? We can fill the food bag up more. That grenade bag is full. Grab another grenade bag. Let's grab our mag bag. I need the powder bag too. To come back, grab the rest. Okay, boom, boom. Do 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 Grabbing extra bags. Skeebie dee bop bee doop. What was a month ago? What game would I wish would get a VR remake? Dark and Darker, baby! Even though the game just came out. Dude, if Dark and Darker was in VR. Bro, I'd be playing that shit so much. Dark and Darker is so much fun. I just like extract looters, and it's a medieval one, a D&D &D one, and it's so fun. It is so fun. If I could play that in VR and swing swords and cast magic and shoot bows and stab people in the back as a rogue and play instruments as a bard in VR, I'd lose my mind. It would be so good. Where's our gun attachment bag? Did I sell it on accident? I think I sold it on accident. All right, that's our new gun attachment bag. We need an ammo bag too. Dee -dee 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 -dee. All right, this is our ammo bag. Oh my God, are we ever gonna get through this list chat? Where's our cell bag? Do we not have a cell bag? We don't have a cell bag. I need to grab one. Wow. Grab three. Tim Varian, they should add red dots to put them on pistols and different interchangeable parts to enhance the gun. That's coming. They've they've talked about it. Gunsmithing will probably be here at like the end of the year. Or sorry, in a year. It's gonna take time. But you'll be able to change everything out on a gun, like you would IRL. That's all coming. And they actually showed a little bit of a preview of it. Um, they showed uh, some texture files and some modeling files where they had all the individual gun parts and different gun parts that can be taken apart. Um, it's all coming, chat. They're, work they're literally working on it. They showed progress of it. So that's cool. It's gonna be really sweet when all that stuff comes out. A grams for days. Chad, I have too much stuff. I honestly don't want it. More money, more problems. This is definitely the truth right now. Oh my God, there's too much stuff. Wait, should we just give some of this away? Chat, should I go into raid with some of these cell bags and just give it to you guys? I don't want it. Chad, do you guys want some of this stuff? Yes? All right, I'll start putting some of the cell bags away and I'll just give them away. I really don't want it. <laughs> it's too much trouble. Uh, where's my gun parts? Here. All right, so we'll fill this cell bag and then we'll get in raid and I'll run around and hopefully one of you guys can get it. 
Chad, do you want to do it on silo? Or do you want to do it on island where you have more of a chance to actually get in raid because there's more players? What do you think? Which one do you want? Silo, there's less of a chance to, for you guys to get in because, you know, those slots, those player slots will get filled by, you know, random people actually playing the game. Island, there's a much better chance of you guys getting in, but I'm down for either. I'm just trying to help you out, chat. Bruh, three months from timeless. What you doing, buddy? Mm. What did you say? Boo. <laughs> it said buh, but it said boo. Uh, we want this mag. Here's my mag bag. Mag bag. All right. Back to the cell bag. We have way too much stuff, chat. It's actually making me sick. Like, the amount of things that are in this kiosk, it's gonna take us hours <laughs> to get through it all. I don't think you understand how much is actually in here. Food bag! Bonk. Oh, more beans. Chat, what's Timeless doing? Hmm? What's he doing? Yeah, what time was doing? Nothing. Well... You probably are not gonna want to sit here and watch me clean. Unless you want to listen to me rant about random stuff. Should we stop cleaning well, and play with Timeless? Head out. Didn't stay long, but it was still fun to hang out. Bye-bye, everybody. Thanks for hanging, Cat. Good to have you. Go enjoy the day. I'll see you another time. How much do you think this bag is worth, chat? There's a lot of foregrips in here. Where's my ammo box? Ammo bag. Dude, we've been doing this for how long? How long have we been live? I can't see. Chat, how long have I been live? Who knows how to check? We've been doing this for two hours and 11 minutes. And look at how long the list is still! We've barely made a dent! Save me! I don't want to do this! I don't want to do this! This is my hardcore account. We just we we just win too much. We have so much stuff. <laughs> oh my god. Chat, I don't want to do this. <laughs> Save me. I really don't. This isn't even even if I get through the kiosk, we're not done. Then I have to go put it all like on a rack. Like I still have to put it away. What, like, what am I gonna do? This is a nightmare. This is my, like, actual nightmare right now. We're living it together. Oh, baby. Save me. Aw, there's so much stuff. Where's the cell bag? Here it is. Alright, chat, I'm gonna give this bag away. There's a lot of foregrips. Who wants foregrips? And looty mags. Looty mags for days. Uh, ACOG goes in the gun attachments. Mm, more boxes of ammo. More looty mags. 
Please. I just want to be done. Ah, whole ass Galil. Blocks. Chat, I'm giving this bag away. It's probably worth like 40,000. I don't think I can stuff any more stuff in here. Okay, so that bag's ready to be given away. Let's start another cell bag. This one's gonna have PC parts in it. Lots of fans. Hmm? You'll gladly take the grips? Alright, at least we'll find something to do. Timeless or clean? Continue the suffering. I didn't even know there was a vote up. But chat wants the suffrage. I don't want to suffer though, chat. I just want to do fun things. This is not fun. But at least we're getting to chat. Alright, next screen. Water filter! This should probably go in the food bag. Uh, more boxes of ammo. Too many Glocks. So this one's gonna have... This next giveaway bag is gonna have just a bunch of Glocks and PC fans in it. Who needs buckets of Glocks for your John Wick runs where you just grab a new Glock out of your bag instead of reloading? Who needs to reload a mags when you have a bag full of Glocks? Oh my god! Is there actually gas in any of these? No. We have another water filter? Chat, who wants a water filter? I'm gonna give one of these away. I don't need that many. Right, this one will have a water filter in it too. Bruh. Uh, uh, there's so much stuff, man. There's too much stuff. That pistol gun. You get some M tapes too, chat. Oh my god. Uh, box of ammo. Mags. Where's my mag bag? Here. I've got some of these. Bits with no message. Thank you, Raptor. Chat, save me. Save me! Take my books. I'm gonna stack a bunch of books in here, too. There should just be a sell option in the kiosk. I would literally nuke the entire thing. Like, gladly. Just let me nuke everything in here. Uh, I think we've hit capacity. I don't think I can fit any more M tapes in here. Alright, one last one. Alright, there's another bag we can give away. Let's fill another one up. lot of books chat these are like th this is all of my diaries from when I was like in the womb till now yes I was writing a diary in the womb mom definitely gave me supplies to work with you guys want some toilet paper uh, 
You can have a pistol. Cat food? I don't really need it. I'm just gonna give all this shit away. I literally don't need anything on the hardcore account. I am like, I'm so stocked. We have like too much stuff. You guys can feed your bunker cat when it comes out with all this cat food. Bunker cat. Cool. <laughs> I just want to get rid of everything now. You guys want some scrap metal? I just gotta go faster. I don't need any of these grips. Uh, like, we have enough stuff. I really don't need any of this. Fit. Why are you being so difficult? Pistols! Okay. Mm. This bag is full already. How big is this list still? Bruh, it's still massive. Chat, I'm not getting anywhere. I mean, I'm getting somewhere, but it's just taking so long. It's taking so long. Why? That bag's full. We've got three bags to give away. You know what, let's take a break. Let's give away these bags. Chat, get your headsets on. Get your headsets on. Let's get rid of some of this stuff. Press one if you want to do silo. Less likely for you to get in, but still possible. Or press two if you want island. It allows for more players to get in. Uh, I'm okay with either. It's not, I mean like, I don't care. It's not my stuff. Two for silo, or two for island, one for silo. Go get your headsets on. <laughs> Teemo plushie? We talked about a Teemo plushie. What more do you want to know? Huh? What more do you want to know? Do a raffle with names? I could just bring them into raid. Kind of like the idea of running around like a psycho, though. Oh, speaking of which, I haven't checked to see if they fixed the friends list. They said they did. <gasps> they did! Cool. Oh, dude, we can actually add Timeless again and play with him. Cool. They nuked it on this account. I wonder if they did it on the main account. Island one. Okay. All right, chat. I'm just gonna bring all three at the same time. We're gonna do daytime island. Should we do nighttime or daytime? I say we do daytime island, so we're running into less kitted boys. Chat, press one if you're in front of your kiosk and ready to queue for daytime island. I'm bringing all three of these bags. We've got a bag with a bunch of books. This will sell really well. This bag will sell really well or be useful. And this bag will sell really well. You guys are good? Okay. Everybody. Q when I say two or three, you decide. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. How much you wanna bet I break the game and these just don't even spawn in with me when we go in? Forgot to send a message on the last one, but hello from one of Time's mods. 
Yo, that's right, Raptor. I thought I recognized your name. Good to see you in chat. All right, chat, come get this bag. Come get these bags. Take them away from me. I don't want them. I don't want to put them away. You do it. You guys do it. Where are my bags? Where are my bags? Where's my YouTuber man? I want to go back to being a mod. I don't know. Chad, I don't know if the bags are going to spawn in. I'm pretty sure I broke- Oh! They came. Oh god. Whoa. Close them. Alright, they're doing very- <laughs> They're doing... Interesting things. Just keep them closed, chat. Or they will go crazy. They're already kind of going crazy. Oh boy. If I let go of this bag to give it to you, it might just explode. Um... Chat, come meet me at loading dock. No, come meet me at... Yeah, just come to loading dock. Whoever spawns closest here gets it. I'll give one bag per person. There's a Fenix there. Can I put this bag down? It might go flying. I'm gonna try and put it down. Okay, I can put it down. Give me this Glock, I need to kill this Fenix. Yo! Yo! Come on over here! Come on over! I got a free bag for you, look! Come here! Oh, like... Yo! Boys! What's up? What's up, Yo. fellow? Tanites? Or randos? What's up? Yeah. Alright. Here, let me turn this off. Come pick a bag. You guys take one of these, then I'll give another one to someone else. They're crazy. But when you're. Okay. There's another water filter that didn't spawn in the bag. Whoever wants that. Nope. Oh. It could have been my bag. Oh, well, now it's you can just hold it if you want. You guys want help out, or should I just kill myself? Well, there's one more bag to give away. Let's go find one more person to give this to. Uh, probably, yeah. If you guys already came, there's probably people who spawned a military base. Uh, or, sorry, yeah, military base side. Uh, let's see if we can find them. Just get ready to gun people down, okay? Let me take this Glock for safety. Thanks for uh, taking my problems away, because I don't want to deal with those bags <laughs> at no all. <laughs> Alright, let's like head to uh, chat. We're going to like... Oh boy. Is that you guys? Can I make this jump? What? Ha. Ah, almost. Hello? In the camp, this one. Jump. He's jumping. He's yeah. Jumping. <laughs> Jump check works so good. <laughs> Let's go. Uh-oh. Right side, Fenix. Behind the tent. Eat my Glock. Hello. Jimmy boy. Yeah. You get this bag. And if you can, someone needs to carry this water filter out. Can you fit this in your regular bag? You already have a bag on. No. What? No. Oh wait, I have it on. I thought it flew. It's rolling down the hill. <laughs> give it to the. Give it to him. All right, you guys take care of each other and get 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 you guys out of raid. Don't die with that stuff. Go sell it, all right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right, be safe. Who wants to kill me? I know one of you do. Do it! Bye! <laughs> Alright, we gave those three backs away. That worked. <sighs> I hope those guys stay alive. Chat, keep an eye on chat. So, like, we let us know if uh, they made it out alive or not. 
chat, can I be done? I kind of don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to do this anymore. There's still so much shit. There's still so much shit. Can we like do more another day? Chat, I don't want to do this anymore. We did a lot of it. Like we did a lot of it. Well, I think I'm done. Let's do some naked runs in Silo. Unless Timeless wants to play. Is Timeless still here? Timeless! Aww. Timeless! What up, white boy? Let me know if he wants to do something, because if he does, I'll raid with him. <laughs> Linus sex tips? That's funny. <laughs> While we wait for Timeless, I'm just going to do some naked runs. I definitely want to take a break. Remember what you said about getting good at things you don't want to do. Yes, but look, I just spent two hours doing it. Like, I deserve a break. Uh, and then we'll, like, I'm not going to not do it ever. I'm just going to take a little break. You know what I'm saying? But you are not wrong. But what am I getting out of this? I'm sorting virtual items on a shelf. Like, fuck me. It's not like I'm building a useful skill, <laughs> you know? Dude, I got no gun. Hello? Missile silo. What's up, boys? Oh, boy. Don't do it. Stop. <laughs> Snap. <laughs> All right, what do we got here? We got a looty. And... A pistol. Where'd that med go? Yo, can you stop throwing grenades at me, man? It's not very nice. Why are you throwing grenades? Can we talk this out, man? How do you know? I wanted to jump over and shoot the guns over the door at him, but he was already peeking at that point. Wait, did Timeless reply? Sorry. Chat, yell at me if Timeless uh, replies. Good night, Brooks. Good night, Dan and Chat. I'd love to stay here. It's all good, be in to work early. Frown, everyone have a great time and be nice to each other. Heart, GG. GG Brooks, thanks for hanging and chatting. Uh, go get some rest, all right? Thank you all for watching. If you feel the video deserves it, give it a like, consider subscribing. It means a lot for my small channel. Also, I do a lot of live streaming on twitch.tv. The link will be in the description below. That's all for today. Expect more Ghosts of Tabor content. And until then, I'll see you in the field.